Amy Henshin, a 4 Chief Development Educator with the University of Illinois Extension. Join me in my kitchen as we make banana bread. This recipe, adapted from the kitchen website, will take approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes from start to finish. It's a delicious way to use bananas that may be past their prime. Let's take a look at the ingredients we'll use for this recipe. You will need the following. 8 tablespoons or 1 stick of unsalted butter. 3 medium, very ripe bananas. 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 cup granulated sugar. 2 large eggs. 1 quarter cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 teaspoon baking soda. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Cooking spray. 1 half cup chopped nuts. These are optional and you can alternately use chocolate chips as an added instead. For this video, I'll be using pecans. The supplies we will need include the following. One eight by five inch loaf pan, a large mixing bowl and optionally some smaller mixing bowls, measuring cups and spoons, a spatula, a whisk or fork, and oven mitt. Before you get started, review the recipe completely and keep it on hand for reference. Also be sure to clean the area where you will be baking and to wash your hands thoroughly. Once that's complete, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you'd like to use the chopped nuts in the recipe, you can toast them on a cookie sheet in the oven for 10 minutes while the oven is preheating. Then prep the eight by five inch loaf pan by spraying the inside with cooking spray. Take the stick of butter and cut it into smaller pieces. Put these pieces in a microwave safe bowl. Then melt the butter in the microwave. Next, take out your large mixing bowl and combine the sugar and melted butter. Mix with your whisk until combined. Then, crack the eggs into the large bowl. If you're worried about eggshells like I am, you can crack the eggs into a separate bowl and then add them to your large bowl. Once you've done this, mix until completely combined and the mixture is smooth. Then, add the milk, and the vanilla to the batter and mix with your whisk. Then we're ready to tackle the bananas. You can add the bananas directly into your large mixing bowl or if you want a smoother consistency, you can mash them in a separate bowl first. To do this, you'll first peel all three bananas. Then you'll place them into your small mixing bowl. Now, use a fork to mash them until there are no more lumps. The riper the bananas, the easier this step will be. Once the bananas are mashed, you can blend them into your batter and then whisk the entire mixture together. Measure in the flour, baking soda, and salt into your mixing bowl. Switch to using a spatula and gently stir until the ingredients are just barely combined and no more dry flour is visible. If you want at this point, you can add a pinch of cinnamon, nutmeg, or other spice to add some flavor to your bread. 
If desired, scatter nuts or chocolate chips over the batter and gently fold them into the mix using the spatula. This step is optional. Now we're ready to pour our batter into the prepared loaf pan. Use the spatula to scrape all the batter from the bowl and into the pan. Then smooth the top of the batter with your spatula. Place the pan in the bottom one third of the preheated oven. Bake for 50 to 65 minutes until the top of the bread is caramelized dark brown with some yellow interior peeking through. A toothpick or a knife inserted into the middle should come out clean. Baking time will vary slightly depending on the moisture and sugar content of your bananas. So start checking on your bread around 50 minutes and then every five minutes after. Remove the loaf from the oven when done. Once the loaf is out of the oven, cool the bread in the pan for 10 minutes. This helps the loaf solidify and makes it easier to remove from the pan. Then you can remove the bread from the pan and cool another 10 minutes on a cooling rack or other surface. After it cools, the bread is ready to slice and enjoy. Visit our website, go.illinois.edu slash stem4hdkk to download our bread baking challenge document which includes a copy of this recipe, as well as links to additional videos on the science behind bread making. Feel free to share your bake with us via email or on social media with parental permission. Happy baking.